Welcome back to the Private Jet Racing Channel. Working on getting more shirts. Right now I got one extra large left. So this customer brought me this car. It had been sitting for probably 20 years in a field. It was his high school car. And he wanted to turn it into a street beast with some horsepower. When it came it didn't run. So we worked out the details and parts were ordered. And we're going to show you if you want to watch how we went from this to this. For the engine, I sourced a AFR headed Windsor. Set up for EFI with forged internals. On the transmission, we went to FTI for a turbo 400 with a trans brake. And I'm going to tell you, this thing has been rock solid for several years now. I wouldn't hesitate to give FTI a call for one. On the wheels, he went with Weld V-Series. And man, let me tell you, they look awesome on this car. I tried to get him to leave it this patina look. I, I love how gangster it looks on these wheels with this uh, old patina from sitting out. The tube ends were welded up and trueness and straightness insured with a jig. There's the rear end in the car. I built him a Hall Effect crank trigger setup. The car has Holly EFI and a Holly Dash and performs outstanding. Street car ride. So here's the turbo 400 in, subframe connectors welded in, all the suspension points welded in, got coilovers on the front, got the spindles drilled, another shot of the rear end with the UPR suspension, anti-roll bar welded in, V-series wheels with airspace brakes, there's the hood with some quick latches, forced inductions billet turbo. So now we're on to building a tube front end. The problem was the car wouldn't hold a big enough radiator, the big turbo, and have enough room for the intercooler and everything, and it wanted to try to overheat. So we built the tube front end, got the big radiator, the big turbo to be able to fit on there, and the spacing was good between the intercooler, and now the car does not try to overheat. Works awesome. Tube front end, I think it looks great. Got the mount there for the turbo actual housing. This was the first tube front end that I had ever bent up myself. I'm real proud of the way the intercooler mounts. You see the uh, standoffs I built to hold the intercooler up. Here's a shot of the car at the gas station with the finished paint. The car runs on E85 and I love some E85. I didn't do the paint and body, but here's a few finished shots on it. The car turned out really nice. The guy did a great job. So now it's time to ride. Hope you enjoyed it, guys.